raise incomes, reduce inequality, increase upward mobility have been very good for the Democratic Party and for America. It's a vital tool. It's an important tool. It's maybe the most important tool that they can think of. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. Hey guys, Mercro plays here, and today I'm going to be doing somewhat of a different video. Uh, here you can see we have a map of the United States, which is where I live, if you weren't aware, and we're going to be looking at the 2016 presidential election, and I'm going to try and remain unbiased in this video as much as I possibly can. So, a lot of people have been talking about um, the possibility of a Donald Trump presidency. Now, it sounds probable, or uh, it sounds possible, I guess I should say, on its surface, but looking at it in a, at a strategic standpoint, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Because, well, I'll let the map do the explaining. This is what you could call my official prediction for the 2016 presidential election. So we're going to start out with some obvious ones. Obviously, Alaska will go red. Obviously, these five will go red. Um, California will obviously go blue. New York will obviously go blue. Um, additionally, Alabama, Mississippi will go red. South Carolina will go red. Uh, these will all go red you that right now these will all go red for sure and Hawaii will go blue because Hawaii always has gone Democrat so okay now that that's out of the way we can start looking at states in depth this might be a long video because you know we have to go individually through every state we'll start up here with Washington now Washington has been a traditionally blue state I don't see this year as an exception I believe Washington will go blue Oregon, same thing. We'll probably go blue with Washington. Usually does. Nevada's a tricky one because Nevada tends to be kind of libertarian, which is prime Trump territory, but personally, I just don't see Nevada going red. It, I really don't. It has never... Go it, well, I can't say it. it's never. It obviously has, but recently it hasn't gone red, so I'm going to say Nevada's going to be blue as well. So far, this should seem, you know, pretty standard. Uh, pretty standard stuff. So Arizona, I'm guessing, will go red because sort of like its friend Colorado, who I also believe will go red. These two, and this whole part of the country really, tends to be quite libertarian. And Trump really appeals to those people because Hillary Clinton is what they would call the establishment left. Where she tends not to very really um, appeal to libertarians. So even places like Colorado and Montana that have gone blue in the past, I really don't think Hillary Clinton has much of a chance in these places. Now, here's where things start to change, get a little different. I believe New Mexico will go blue because Donald Trump did insult New Mexico's governor publicly, which I think definitely hurt his chances in New Mexico. I don't think he has much of a chance there anymore. Uh, I'm going to come back to Texas. Texas is trickier than you might think in this election. Um, now we're up here looking at uh, these three, and these, I believe, will all go blue. Because this is where Clinton really starts to shine in this general area over here. Uh, in this major, like, capitalist left type area. So, Iowa, I believe, will go red. Missouri, I believe, will go red. I'm gonna come back to these. Illinois, I believe, will go blue, just because Illinois tends to go blue, just because um, it's Chicago mostly. Uh, high African American population, um, and African Americans tend to be Democrats, as a general rule. 
Um, I believe it's some number over 90%, so Illinois will most certainly go blue. Indiana, I'll come back to Indiana because Indiana's tricky as well. Ohio, I believe, will go red because Ohio... Donald Trump did decently well in Ohio, even though John Kasich... I believe if it weren't for John Kasich, he would have beaten Cruz in Ohio because John Kasich, if you didn't know, Ohio is his home state, so that was the only state he won in any of the primaries, so I think Trump has a pretty good chance in Ohio. Let's move... We'll come back to Philadelphia. Let's move up here into the Northeast. Uh, I believe that... Um, Vermont will most certainly go blue because of uh, Hillary Clinton didn't do too well in Vermont, but again, it was Bernie Sanders' home state, so that's not any sh any surprise at all. Then we have um, Massachusetts will go blue, uh, Connecticut will go blue, Rhode Island will go blue. Uh, now we start getting trickier with these two. These two are strange because. They always have gone blue in the past, except when they don't. <laughs> uh, I believe it was in the 2000 election. New Hampshire actually went red. So, tricky, tricky. Uh, I would say these are going to go blue. I don't think there's going to be any surprises in the Northeast. Clinton did very well in the Northeast. Uh, next up, we move to this general area. New Jersey, I believe, will go blue. Sorry, I didn't mean to click on you, Delaware. Uh, Delaware will go blue as well. This is Maryland. Uh, Maryland will go blue as well, just because, you know, it's that part of the country again. Very, very liberal part of the country. Uh, DC will go blue. DC always goes blue. Even, uh, I believe, in Reagan, Reagan days where everything was red. I think even DC, at least in 1984, DC and Minnesota were blue. So, DC will be blue. No, no doubt about that at all. Now that brings us to the weird ones, the oddballs of the election. So, as you can see, we still have 180 unclaimed, uh, unclaimed, I guess you could say, uh, electoral votes. Which gives Trump quite the opportunity, actually, because these states usually would be conservative, which would mean Trump would win. Well, there's some that aren't, like Virginia, Florida. Sometimes North Carolina. Sometimes Pennsylvania. So, we're going to be looking at those now. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is strange in that it was, it's, a, it's a swing state. It usually is. However, because it's so, it ha, it's so cl surrounded by these blue states, there is one to its left that's red. I believe that Pennsylvania will go blue this year. Still, 160 unclaimed electoral votes gives Trump uh, definitely an opportunity to to pull ahead assuming he wins most of these but here's why I don't think he will Indiana I believe will go red just because Indiana usually does go red Indiana is a conservative state as a general rule with the exception of Indianapolis big cities tend not to be very conservative but Indiana will go red almost certainly uh, there's a chance it could go blue but I'm quite certain Indiana will go red. Now, we're down to these three. Uh, West Virginia and Virginia. Virginia will go blue because Virginia always goes blue. Virginia, well not always, but it, it, it's, it's a pretty liberal for a, like a somewhat southern state. It tends to be quite liberal. Same thing goes for North Carolina. North Carolina is tricky because some older polls have said Trump is winning in North Carolina, but I don't think Trump will win North Carolina because Donald Trump, I think even his supporters can agree that he doesn't exactly promote traditional values. So he is a pretty progressive Republican, actually, uh, as weird as that might sound. He's actually quite a progressive Republican, so I really don't... And that, that, the traditional values are really what appealed to the people in this general area. They, they tend to like the more of the same, and that's not always a bad thing. Um, they, they really like traditional values, and Donald Trump doesn't really bring that to the table. So I think that Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, did very well in the South, and it's very close in North Carolina, but I think it's going to go blue, as it did in 2008 or 12, one of the Obama elections it went blue. West Virginia, hmm. I would say West Virginia is probably going to go red. It tends to. It, it, West Virginia is strange, kind of like um, 
Pennsylvania. West Virginia is one of those strange states. It will probably go red, though. Kentucky. Now, you might be thinking, whoa, Kentucky will go red. Kentucky always goes red. This election is different. You can't group this in with other elections because it's a very different election with two very different people. You have Hillary Clinton, who tends to be more part of the establishment left, and you have Donald Trump, who is part of what I consider the disestablishment right, or the libertarians, really. And you also have a libertarian running in Gary Johnson, and then you also have a disestablishment left uh, Green Party Jill Stein running. So both, a, a few votes will be taken from each side, but really I don't think either of them will have much of a showing in the polls, Jill Stein or um, Gary Johnson. So Kentucky, well, Kentucky I believe will go blue because Kentucky's kind of a split state in its Democrats and Republicans, and considering Donald Trump has a pretty high unfavorability rate, um, some of those are Republicans. I don't think he'll do well. He has a higher unfavorability rate, and Kentucky's sort of a 50-50 kind of state. So I believe Kentucky will go blue. Tennessee, I think, will go red. No surprises there. Tennessee usually does go red. Uh, now we're down to the weird states. We're really down to... Kentucky is sort of can be put in that group, but we're down to the weird states of the South. The South is generally Republican. This year is different, in my opinion. This is all my opinion. Based on the analysis of various um, things that have gone on during the election. So, Florida, I believe, will go blue. Donald Trump does not have a lot of minority appeal, which is really what um, the Republicans need in order to win Florida. Donald Trump doesn't really have that. Donald Trump does not have that minority appeal that Hillary Clinton has. So, to me, it seems quite obvious that Florida will go blue. Georgia. Now, a lot of people have been saying they think Georgia will go blue this year. I disagree, because... Technically speaking, Hillary Clinton is quite close to Donald Trump in Georgia. But Georgia is so... The conservatives in Georgia are very conservative. Um, and I don't think... I can't imagine people in Georgia voting for Hillary Clinton. So, I think Georgia will go red. Now we're down to three. We're down to Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. Now, Hillary Clinton was the first lady of the governor of Arkansas back in the 80s. Maybe 70s, but the 80s. Um, next to Bill Clinton, who was the governor of Arkansas. You guys, did, I'm sure most of you knew that, but she was the first lady. And Bill Clinton took these two states, so I am inclined to think that Hillary Clinton will take these two states because these have gone blue in the past, and I could see them going blue again, especially in a situation with... And you have to also remember, Bill Clinton was running against George Bush Sr., who was from Texas, so these, by all means, should go red because they're so close to Texas. However... I don't think they, I, and they, they didn't go red. And that was with a candidate that had some Southern appeal. Donald Trump doesn't have a lot of that. Donald Trump does not appeal to Southerners. The only thing Donald Trump brings to the table for Southerners is his um, opposal to open borders, or his wanting to build a wall, as he words it. That's really his only appeal for Southerners. So I believe that Arkansas and Louisiana will go blue this year. That might seem bold, but I believe that these two will go blue this year. Which brings us to Texas. Texas is a strange one because... Texas, you would think, you would most people would jump to the conclusion that Texas would go Republican. Texas usually does go Republican. Plus, Donald Trump's appeal to Texans with his um, building of the wall, he, that appeals to a lot of Texans. It really does. A lot of people are all for that. However, there is one problem. In a recent poll, Donald Trump is only leading in Texas by two points. At this point in an election, the uh, if a Republican were to win Texas, the Republican would be winning by 12 or 13 points. But not in this election. 
Hillary Clinton is only trailing by two points. And if things keep up the way they've kept up, which is to say Donald Trump has said some controversial things for people around this area, I think it's quite possible that Texas could go blue this year. However, it's unlikely. Texas is conservative. It usually is, anyway. And Texas hasn't gone blue since Jimmy Carter, so... I believe that Texas will go red. So if we look at the electoral votes, it's not very close at all. And if Texas were to go blue, it would be even less close. So, yeah. This is my prediction for the 2016 election. Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. Um... Yeah. So, obviously a lot can change in five months. A lot can change. And things could turn around. This could mean Donald Trump's behavior could actually sort of manipulate the map in a strange way, where the south would go blue, but more of this area would go red. Because, well... It's strange. Donald Trump is strange. Not, I'm not saying he's bad, but he's strange because he is different than Republicans we've seen in the past. Republicans tend to be quite predictable, and Democrats do in a lot of ways as well. But Republicans especially tend to be quite predictable in that John McCain, the map looked pretty standard. Uh, I think he won some one weird state. I think he might have won Colorado. I, don't quote me on that, though. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, and Mitt Romney was also quite predictable. The race was much closer with Mitt Romney, but it still quite predictable. Donald Trump isn't predictable. We can't predict Donald Trump. Donald Trump might completely turn around his campaign, and he might win back some of the states down here that he's lost, which is entirely possible. But right now, where we are on June 19th, 2016, or... 18th, but yeah, June 18th, 2016. Hillary Clinton will win the election, in my opinion, by quite a bit. Because I don't think the American people are ready for such an odd and unusual candidate. Now, this is my opinion. If you guys have any objections to this or believe any states would be red or blue, contrary to what I have stated, I'd love for you to comment in the description below, or comments below, excuse me. That would be lovely for me, and I would love to get a conversation going, not, not an argument, but a conversation going in the comments regarding this, because this is very interesting. This is one of the more interesting elections, and I think this is going to be a historical election in a lot of ways. So hopefully I've remained, I've re remained as unbiased as I possibly could be. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I would love for you guys to comment below what you think the results will be for the 2016 presidential election. And if you guys want to share your maps or suggest some things to me, that'd be great too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for almost 100 subscribers, guys. You have been absolutely very, very supportive to me, and I really appreciate it. So thank you very much for that. And... I will see you guys next time. Peace out.